Hello, my name is Dr. Matthew Bachman, and welcome to Steinway Piano Gallery. Today I'd like to speak with you about a very special instrument, and one that I'm very excited about. This is a Steinway & Sons Spirio Model R. What is Spirio? First and foremost, Spirio is a Steinway piano. The instrument that I'm sitting in front of is a Model B. Uh, it is about seven feet in length and is widely considered to be the perfectly designed piano. Steinway & Sons has made several improvements, many improvements, over the last decade to bring the quality of Steinway pianos to the highest level that it's been in our more than 168 year production history. Spirio is a technology that we have incorporated into our pianos that adds on to the incredible performance abilities, the incredible expressive possibilities that can come only from a Steinway piano. Spirio is Steinway's high resolution reperformance and performance capture system. What does that mean? It means that any artist can sit at the piano, any pianist can sit at the piano, and have every nuance of their performance captured and then recreated on the Spirio. How is that possible? Through a system of electromagnetic solenoids, over 1,020 different gradients of sound can be reproduced. Now, when we try to take the expressive possibilities of a pianist and quantify them, that can be somewhat difficult to understand. But if I were to take and extrapolate just as many dynamic levels as I can think of to try and delineate, it would go something like this. That was about 12 different gradients, going from the very softest sound to the very loudest sound that I could play at the piano. Now, when we actually make music, we have more levels of expression that we use. Spirio captures that. So that was 12 different gradients of touch. Spirio is capable of recreating over 1,020 different gradients of touch. So when I am making music, when I am creating my art form, Spirio is capturing all of the mechanical data from the movement of the key and the movement of the hammer to striking the strings to proportional pedaling. Rachmaninoff once said that the sustained pedal is the soul of the piano and Spirio is capable of capturing every pedaling within 256 different gradients over five millimeters of damper pitman travel. So what that means is that when I'm playing the piano, Spirio Steinway's high resolution performance capture and re-performance system is capturing all of the mechanical data that I am giving the piano to express my art form. Up until very recently, the pianos that we have been able to provide to customers have only been able to play back. Spirio R is the next stage of that evolution. This instrument is fully capable of bringing and capturing the nuances of performances that we've been recording for years now in Steinway & Sons recording studios for the Spirio catalog. To be able to capture that information has many different applications. Pedagogically, imagine a world where a teacher could sit with a student, a student could perform a work, and immediately after that's done, could then, with their instructor, listen back to that performance and, with their own ears, hear the very music they created come out of the same piano. For years in lessons, uh, students have been, recorded, have been encouraged to record, bring microphones and first tape recorders, then mini disc players, then MP3 recorders, and the list goes on, into their lessons so that they could capture and listen back through the listener's ears what they thought they were creating at the piano. And many times we're surprised. Spirio takes that one level further, that it captures every detail of the performer's intention of everything good and perhaps not as good that they do at the piano. It then plays that back after recording it and allows the student and allows the instructor to listen to it in a way that was not possible prior to this. No Steinway piano has been able to reproduce 
a performance with this much authenticity. And it's all done through a very intuitive, easy to use application that's on an iPad. All one needs to do is simply press record and the iPad speaks to the piano through a Wi-Fi or Bluetooth connection. And you simply press record and the instrument will capture what the pianist does. So, let's see if Spirio was able to capture what I just did at the piano. There are a lot of things that I heard in there, uh, some that I liked and some that I liked not as much. Um, but that is one of the beauties of being able to hear my performance played back to me as I played it. When I am playing the piano and I'm making music, I can't listen as objectively as I would not playing the piano. It's not so dissimilar to if you're listening, to, if you're at a performance and you're looking at the artist and you hear one way and you close your eyes and you hear another way. The same way once you remove a variable from the equation, you can analyze your own playing at a different level. Imagine if you could also have a graphical representation of what you were doing at the piano. Spirio does that as well. All I need to do is save the file. In this case, we'll call it test. And Spirio can give me exactly what I played previously. I simply go to Edit Composition Now, and everything that I did is available to me in graphic notation. So you see, this is what we would call a heat diagram. Uh, the different velocities of the keys are shown in different colors. And if you look, you can see that the left hand, I'm playing very softly, uh, as the accompaniment should be. And when the right hand enters, you can see that the melody has a bit more weight. And you can see at the bottom here, my pedaling. And that pedaling is not what I had hoped to be doing. As a matter of fact, that pedaling is a little bit too deep. Pedaling is one of the most difficult things to convey to students as an instructor. And it's one of the most difficult things to master as a player. To be able to have a graphical representation of that dramatically eases the communication for the instructor and hopefully for the understanding of the student in what the student is doing and how it could be better. Now, I actually have the ability, if I wanted to, to go through and look at any one of these notes and edit it. Spirio's onboard editing application gives me the ability to look at a note, uh, see the velocity, uh, see those gradients spread out over 1,020 different levels, see the duration, and I could go in there and edit that if I wanted to. Now, that raises a whole other realm of possibilities for Spirio technology application, is that if you're in a recording studio and you're trying to lay down a performance, 
no performance is perfect, and yet in this era, uh, perfection is demanded uh, by the recording industry when something is released. One of the most difficult things in my own experience being in the recording studio is if there is something that you want to touch up a bit, uh, making sure that you're capturing every nuance, every sequence, um, as you played it the first time, that can be difficult to do. With Spirio, I can go in and let's say I glanced a note, I can actually change that and not have to go and recreate the entire thread of my musical intention. And that lends itself to a more authentic musical performance that could be captured by traditional recording means through a microphone. Um, but that's perhaps a topic we can delve into in a different video at another time. This data is the core of what Spirio is capable of doing. The ability to capture this mechanical data is a capturing, much as a camera captures now in megapixels, uh, the beauty of an image, of a visual image. Spirio is also capturing, and arguably in a way that is much more visceral, the sound, the tone, the essence of what a pianist is doing when they play. That has broad-reaching ramifications that are limited only by our, by our imagination. In addition to being able to record and hear your own performance, Spirio has the ability to transmit from a Spirio R piano to every other Spirio in the world. Now, that can dramatically open up the possibilities for how one experiences live music performance, for how one experiences educational applications. Imagine, if you would, a student sitting in Washington, D.C., performing a live master class for a master teacher in Berlin or Beijing or in New York. It doesn't matter. Spirio can take the data, can take everything that the pianist is doing and send it to another Spirio piano. And instead of a performer's musical intention being limited by the range of a microphone, by the range of a speaker, it is capturing the visceral essence of the performance, of the strings vibrating, of wood amplifying those vibrations, and sending it to the ears and hopefully to the hearts and minds of the listeners who are taking that in. That has possibilities for entertainment as well as for um, didactic purposes. Imagine Billy Joel performing live at Madison Square Garden and that being transmitted directly to your living room or to your performance hall. Uh, think something similar to a live from the Met simulcast. That suddenly live performance can be experienced more than at the location where the artist is actually playing. The technology that goes along with Spirio that allows that to be possible is SpirioCast. And SpirioCast is launching and it will transform the way that we experience piano music. Last year, the Kirov Academy of Washington, D.C. held the first virtual piano competition featuring Spirio. And young artists from all around the world went into different locations where Spirio pianos were housed and recorded their performances. This during the year of pandemic, when live music stopped. These artists went in, captured their performances on Spirio, and they were all played back for a panel of judges in Washington, D.C. Now, these recordings happened in Seoul, South Korea, uh, in Tokyo, Japan, uh, in Boston, Massachusetts, places very distant from Washington, D.C. And when the judges heard the sounds of these artists reproduced through the Spirio, one of the judges' exact words to me, I haven't heard live music in over six months. Thank you so much for making this possible. That was revelatory to me. I live with this technology day in and day out. And as amazing as it is, it is edifying to me to hear somebody experience and see somebody experience it for the first time and be able to identify what they were hearing as live music. Now, this year, Kirov is going to be having their competition through Spiriocast, that at the moment that a pianist is playing in Beijing, in Seoul, Korea, in Tokyo, in Boston, in New York, 
that information for the piano will transmit to a piano at the Kirov Academy along with a video feed that in real time the piano will be playing when the artist touches a note it will be expressed in the exact same way thousands of miles away. That is game changing in the music industry. That is game changing in the way that lovers of music experience music. Imagine that collaborations from around the world could suddenly be possible all through Steinway Speria. During the last year, uh, institutions that have purchased the Steinway Speria are have shared with us different applications and they've ranged from new music being composed for the piano that would only be playable by Spirio that is faster, encompasses more notes than humans could reproduce, playing faster than. And that's pretty cool. That's pretty amazing that Spirio is advancing art form in that way. Steinway has also heard that there are applications that extend the reach of the collaborative pianist exponentially. Now, that's something that's quite intriguing to me uh, because in addition to my background as a pianist, I was fortunate enough to do uh, all my degrees including a Doctor of Musical Arts in Piano Performance at the University of Maryland College Park. And uh, I love being a collaborative pianist. Um, in another chapter of my life, I was also a French horn player. And being able to make music with others is something that's very special to me and something that's very important. One of the things that Spirio R can do is capture the performance of the collaborative pianist while performing with the soloist. That way, the soloist then at any given point in time, be it in a practice session, be it in a lesson, could even be in a performance, have access to that recorded collaborative pianist performance that's tailored to their exact concept of the piece that's being performed. COVID and pandemic has been a time where many of us have had to broaden our skill sets. We've had to go to places um, in our skill set development we wouldn't have thought otherwise necessary or even possible. For myself, uh, in the last year, it's been fun to have time to practice more piano, to have time to practice French horn. My commuting has been a wonderful thing, and uh, distance learning, distance communication has become something that's uh, widely accepted. I thought it would be very interesting to put to the test what the Spirio could do. So this is my capstone experiment for what the capabilities of the Spirio would be extending the reach of a collaborative pianist, and as a soloist, seeing what that would feel like. Take a listen. This is the Franz Strauss Nocturno for horn and piano, and I hope you enjoy.
that was a lot of fun to do. So the way that that performance worked, I recorded the piano part first and then played the horn solo part on top of it. Now, normally in this sort of application, there's not going to be too many instances where you'd want to accompany yourself, but you could if you wanted to. But what I wanted to see was as the artist, as the soloist, could I feel like I was still making music in the same way that I would if I was performing with a pianist sitting at the bench? And I have to tell you that it was pretty darn close, virtually indistinguishable, because the recorded performance of the piano part was mirroring my intentions as a soloist. Pedagogically, that has a lot of applications that soloists now in institutional settings can have access to their accompanists, uh, when their accompanist is playing for somebody else's lesson or playing a recital in another room. Um, that is game changing and addresses a need that many institutions have to be able to have a collaborative pianist be in more than one place at once. And if you ask any collaborative pianist, they will tell you that they wish they could be in more place than once many times. The technology and the promise of the Spirio Art technology is only limited by our imaginations. We look forward in the years to come to seeing what this technology is, is capable of doing as it is in more hands and as more brains and more artistic souls find common ground that would not have been accessible to them without these beautiful instruments and without this incredible technology. Spirio is a one-of-a-kind instrument and it has to be experienced to be believed. Um, as much as I hope you've gotten out of my talk about this instrument today, I encourage you to experience Spirio for yourself, to hear every nuance of the pianist's intention reproduced through a Steinway Grand is nothing short of breathtaking. I've had the opportunity through Spiro technology to hear some of the performances of great artists of the past, like Vladimir Horowitz, Art Tatum, artists that I would not have had the opportunity to experience their performances unless it was through this piano. I hope this has been informative for you. Feel free to contact us with any questions. Thank you.